fundamental migration has been to our population, you need to come here to this former army camp outside Albury Wodonga. This is our Ellis Island. This is the birthplace of multicultural Australia. In fact, 5% of the entire Australian population can be traced to post-war migrants whose new lives in Australia began right here. Dangilla was a huge reception centre set up by the federal government in 1947 to receive non-British migrants. In 1949, we were one of the first people that came out here. We were cold, we were tired. We could see a future for us, where we couldn't see a future in Europe. Doina Eitler was one of 310,000 migrants who came through these basic huts. She arrived here from Romania via Austria with her family as a child. I didn't even know what it was, but it was the magpies, the caroling. And I've always associated the magpies caroling with coming to Australia. New citizens, eager, alert, youthful marching out to meet a new life. Some people talk about putting them in a sheep dip of enjoying country life and seeing what it was like. And there was always that hope that it would decentralise Australia. Without immigration, the future of the Australia we know will be both uneasy and brief. As a nation, we shall not survive. My dad was the last. German migrant Ray Klepiak and his family called Bonegilla home for six years. All we got told was like my mum and dad. They just sat us down and they said from now on we do what the Australians do. We speak Australian, we act Australians and we are going to be Australians. And, and that's what we did. Ray and Doina both settled near Wodonga and stayed. But they are very much in the minority. I think the majority eventually found their way to cities after the two-year contract. There were a lot of people that were dissatisfied with the kind of reception that they got at Bangela, and they were dissatisfied with the way that the government settled them into Australia. It's a history lesson for the government of today, with the new Minister for Population, Alan Tudge, announcing a plan to settle migrants in regional areas for five years. I think it's a bit of a pipe dream to think that you can suddenly put up migrant proof fences and uh, electronic tags and, and somehow hold migrants to regional areas. After a period, those skilled migrants behave like all other young Australians. They get attracted to Melbourne, Sydney, Perth and Brisbane. Two hours drive from Nil is Stall town working not only to maintain its population, but hopefully to entice international migrants and people away from the cities. While Nil had a shortage of people, Stall had a shortage of jobs, two of the biggest factors in managing a population. 